In this week's tip of the week, I want to explain a little more to you about the National Visa Center and how the National Visa Center is involved in immigration application processing. We've, we have many questions from people who are applying for a spouse or a relative who live outside the United States. And I think this will help you understand the process a little more. So keep watching. My name is Andres Mechen, but if you see me on TV, it's Andre Major. I'm an immigrant and an immigration attorney based in New Jersey, but I help people to get legal status no matter where they are in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. as long as it's for a U.S. immigration issue. We've had some people ask us how to get a Canadian visa. Sorry, can't help with that. But if you're Canadian and want to come to the U.S., I can help you with that. I started helping people with their immigration issues because I had a bad experience with an immigration attorney when I was growing up. My family paid $5,000 to a New York attorney to help us get our green cards. And after two years, he did zero. Yep, you got that right. Zero. My goal is to make sure your process is as stress-free as possible. Call us if you'd like help with your immigration case. So let's talk about National Visa Center. National Visa Center is located in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. It is part of the Department of State. In essence, the National Visa Center, or NVC, is the liaison connector between USCIS and the consulates or embassies that are abroad. If you are filing an application for a spouse or a relative, you will follow either Form I-130 or an I-129. This is submitted to USCIS. You will then receive from USCIS a notice of action or Form I-797 telling you they, they got it. This is called a receipt notice. Then USCIS approves or denies your application. If they approve it, you will receive another I-797. This is referred to as an approval notice. The petition is then transferred from USCIS to the National Visa Center. That transfer can take four to six weeks, so please don't expect the National Visa Center to have it immediately. The person who is the green card holder or citizen is the petitioner, and the person they are applying for is the beneficiary in USCIS parlance. However, in National Visa Center, they're referred to as the applicant. This can be a little confusing because usually the green card holder or U.S. citizen is the one submitting the application. So you would think that they would be the applicant, but they're not. Welcome to the ways of government bureaucracy. Once it is received by National Visa Center, the processing times were based on the visa category of the applicant. So is it a green card? Is it a student visa? What kind of visa is it? Second, the relationship of the application to the petitioner. If you are a spouse and you're a U.S. citizen, your spouse will your yeah your application will move quicker. Should be immediate, obviously. Well, if you're a U.S. citizen, then someone who is a brother or sister of a U.S. citizen. On a side note, we had someone ask us on our YouTube channel the other day when he could apply for his green card as his brother was a green card holder. Unfortunately, if your sibling is a green card holder, you can't apply for a visa until he or she becomes a U.S. citizen. Even then, it could take 10 to 20 years for you to become a visa holder, for, you to, for a visa to become available, depending on your country of birth. If you have a family member who has a legal status and they want to sponsor you, have them call us. We can review their status and give them an outline of who they can sponsor and when. Third thing they're going to look for is your priority date. This is the date USCIS received the initial application. And if it was rejected because it was missing something, the date becomes when it is resubmitted. So the priority date is when it's received by USCIS in an approvable format. And lastly, the citizenship of the petitioner. Remember, the petitioner is a U.S. citizen or green card holder. So NVC has the application from USCIS. It will first accept and verify the petition. You will get a welcome letter when this is done. Secondly, it will allow the applicant or their attorney to electronically submit the affidavit of support. That's DS-260. No, it's not just the affidavit of support. The affidavit of support is form I-864, but the applicant for through the Department of State, which is the DS-260, as well as any other documents that establish the relationship of the petitioner to the applicant and pay any fees required. Third, once that is accepted and complete and the embassy or consulate is open and conducting interviews during times of COVID, not all are. The National Visa Center will forward the application for an interview and further processing. There is a stage called DQ or Documentary Qualified. This is when all documents have been submitted. 
received and approved by the National Visa Center. Unfortunately, right now in May 2021, there are almost 500,000 DQ applicants waiting for interviews. That's 500,000 documentally qualified applicants waiting for their day. National Visa Center processing times are updated weekly, usually on Mondays. As of May 10, 2021, National Visa Center is reviewing cases received from USCIS on April 2, 2021. So they're six weeks behind on processing. I've said several times in my videos, you should keep a folder or file with all of your immigration papers. You should keep copies of what you submit with your application, your applications, and any notices you get from USCIS, National Visa Center, or the Department of State. You will receive a welcome letter from the NVC. This document is really important to keep because it has logged in information for you to get into the CAC system. That's the Consular Electronic Application Center, and you're going to need that throughout this process. If the NVC has gotten your application and you want to check on status, you can do so. If your case is outside of normal processing times, you can contact National Visa Center by email with a public inquiry form or via phone. I will link to the site below where you submit the public inquiry form. Their phone number is 603-337-0700. That number again is 603-337-0700. And they're available Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time. The NVC is currently answering emails that they received on 27th of April, 2021. That means they're only three weeks behind <laughs> on email. Imagine that. I hope this helped you understand more about the NVC and how it is part of your immigration journey. We've helped over 4,000 immigrants with their immigration issues. We have educated tens of thousands about the, the, their options and how they qualify. And we've had over a million views on our videos. Our mission is to help 5,000 more immigrants achieve legal status in the next five years. We would love for you to be one of those 5,000. Call us to see if that's possible. If you found value in this video, please subscribe to our channel. As always, stay healthy and be well.